In this video, I'm going to look at Lloyds Bank stock, and we're going to identify if Lloyds Bank is an opportunity of a lifetime or a value trap. Lloyds has seen its revenue stagnate in the last five years, with it falling 2% from 2018. In the same time, profits have actually increased by 26%, suggesting that they've made improvements in efficiency, which has led to the greater profit margins of 27.6%. Notably, their market capitalization has fallen by 17%, since 2018 and this is despite their share count reduction or share buybacks and so i ask the obvious question why why have Lloyd shares done so badly? Investors are forward thinking and therefore they're likely paying attention to the economic activity of the UK, particularly the housing market. The housing market is important to Lloyd's because if it's doing well, people are likely to be buying homes, which leads to an increased demand for mortgages, of which they hold the largest mortgage book in the UK. Brexit, the pandemic and the subsequent cost of living crisis have contributed to stubborn inflation and rising interest rates rates, which has also pushed up mortgage rates. These fluctuations can significantly impact the future profits of Lloyds Bank. Given its exclusive operations in the UK, it would make sense as to why Lloyd shares are lagging compared to that of HSBC or Barclays in the last five years. Therefore, it's crucial we dive into the KPIs. We can see that in the last five years, return on equity has actually increased by 25%. This looks promising and would appear the company is using equity more efficiently. Share buybacks have made an impact to return on equity, with total shares reducing by 6.1% in this same time frame. That said, this is primarily driven by profit growth, as evident by the EPS growth of 30.9% in the last five years. Despite the increase in earnings in the last five years, dividend investors have actually suffered. This is evident when analyzing the dividend per share, in which it has fallen by 31.7%. We should consider the impact of the pandemic, as the banks were pushed by the government to cancel their dividend in order to maintain liquidity. This is one big factor that I don't like about banking stocks. They're well positioned in a great industry and poised to make plenty of money. But it does mean that the government will meddle in their operations from time to time and understandably will prioritise things other than shareholder value. Meaning, as a dividend investor, I would not rely on bank stocks to pay a dividend in harsh recessions. That said, they've made significant strides of improvement since the great financial crisis and I think the risk of them not paying a dividend is less going forward. Another way to analyse their risk of paying a dividend in the future is by looking at the balance sheet. We can see that Lloyds has actually increased their debt by 1.3% since 2018, which is pretty consistent overall. When contrasted with its 18% increase in cash, this has actually driven an improved net position of 44%. Whilst debt to equity has increased by 7% in the last five years, it's actually driven primarily by the fall of 5% in equity value, which is actually due to the large share buybacks that were taken place in 2022, representing 6% of the total share count. Given we've established that Lloyds has a consistent debt to equity ratio and a sound financial position, does this mean that Lloyds stock is a bargain opportunity? Well, when looking at relative valuations, Lloyds is currently priced at 5.7 times 2022 earnings, which is actually closer to the 52 week low than the high. This is nearly half that of the UK market average of 11.5 times, suggesting that investors are not so optimistic about future profit growth. On average, Lloyds has traded at around 13.9 times earnings in the last five years, which might mean there's potential for mean reversion and a value opportunity if buying for that reason. Lloyds' current price to sales ratio of 1.6 times compared to that of the UK market average of 1.1 times suggests that they are overvalued compared to that of the UK market. However, historically, it has traded at two times sales. Given that Lloyds shares are actually popular amongst dividend investors, I would take greater note of the price to earnings ratio as profit growth will drive future dividend payments. But is Lloyd's stock actually ideal for dividend investors or is this just hype? So far in 2023, Lloyd's have grown their interim dividend payment by 15%, which could suggest a full year growth of around that amount. The reason I say this is because in 2022, they grew their interim payment by 19% and actually ended up growing their full year dividend by 20%. When we consider their very low payout ratio of 31%, it means 
means there's a lot of room for growth in the future of their dividend payment as they can reinvest that extra earnings into that payment or they can reinvest the majority of their earnings back into the business and hopefully growing those profits. Currently, the dividend yield of 5.7% makes Lloyds a very attractive option for dividend investors. If this continues to increase at a rate of double digits, then it would seem like a fantastic purchase for dividend investors. However, it's crucial that earnings need to improve over time to maintain this growth rate. Based on a discounted cash flow valuation, assuming a very low earnings growth rate of 2% annually, shares would be valued at 95 pence. On paper, this seems like fantastic value and would represent an upside potential of over 100%. Yet we're seeing shares at this apparent low price of 43 pence. What are investors seeing that we aren't? Perhaps fear has remained in the UK over the banks since the great financial crisis. Investors who backed the banks maybe had their hands burned and this could drive fear that it could happen again. In reality, I think that investors have discounted shares of Lloyds because they think the housing market is going to go through a rough patch and that impacts its mortgage book. I think that with discipline, a cautious investor could carefully build up a position in the stock, mindful not to build too much of a position too fast, instead drip feeding small amounts of money into the stock over a longer period of time. I understand that many investors invest for value opportunities and look for price to multiple expansion, or in this case it would be mean reversion. I'm cautious of this approach and while I do think it can drive significant shareholder returns, I believe that earnings growth is just as if not more important. Therefore, Lloyd's stock personally isn't a stock for me. This week I revealed my entire stock portfolio. If you'd like to find out more, click here.